Also in politics, after the Tea Party's blunted impact on the 2012 elections, many critics were eager to write the movement off altogether. And then the IRS came along and confirmed all of the Tea Party's worst fears about big government. Today, the Tea Party patriots rallied at the Capitol for what organizers billed as the largest Tea Party demonstration since the heyday in 2010. Our own Aaron McPike was there. Aaron, this drew some of the Tea Party's biggest darlings. Jake, it was. It was a who's who of the conservative movement. And this was really the first time they had to respond as a group to the IRS controversy that was tailored specifically to them. Remember these guys and gals? The Tea Party was out in force today, railing against the IRS. There are some people who want to write the obituary for the Tea Party, but if you look around at this crowd on a Wednesday afternoon, the Tea Party is alive and well, and we are going to write the obituary for big government. The Tea Party, of course, came to prominence before the 2010 elections, when its small government ethos energized the GOP, leading to massive victories at the polls. But after that, the Tea Party seemed to be on a slower boil. The Tea Party never went away. We changed our focus. We quit trading up to Washington here. We paid more attention to our home. We strengthened. We've organized. We're stronger. We're more resolute. And we have more resources. And now that we get our tax exemptions, we'll have even more resources. Recent controversies stemming from the Obama administration, like the IRS targeting Tea Party groups, have breathed new life into the conservative-fueled movement. Anybody want to fire some IRS agents? This is not a, 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 a flash in the pan kind of protest either. This is going to go on until there's redress. Uh, we've been violated as Tea Party members, as conservatives. Their ire is largely directed at the Obama administration. But on Tuesday, Elijah Cummings, the top Democrat on the House Oversight Committee that's investigating the controversy, released a full transcript of an interview with an IRS agent. Democrats say that absolved the White House of responsibility in targeting Tea Party groups' tax-exempt status. The blame, Cummings says, rests almost entirely with the agents in the Cincinnati office. But that hasn't diminished the Tea Party's fervor. Lorraine Land got involved with the Tea Party just a month ago. How dare the government snoop in on our phone calls and our emails? Just because you disagree with what I believe or what I say gives you no rights. And although President Obama won't be on any more ballots, the Tea Party sees ways to further weaken him with the news this week that his poll numbers are dropping. Now, let's talk implications, shall we? Mike Lee of Utah, a young conservative darling, said also today at that podium, this movement by 2014 will make 2010, the midterms then, look like a Sunday picnic for the Democrats. Lunch. Interesting. Well, we shall see. Aaron McPike, thank you so much. Let's face it, nobody really likes the IRS, and both Republicans and Democrats agree that conservative organizations seem to be the victims in this case overwhelmingly and even in a rare instance where almost everyone is on the same page however we're still at a standstill on may 15th attorney general eric holder promised a criminal investigation into why these groups were given a harder time in the run-up to the 2012 election that this is now a federal criminal investigation no that is correct as i said as of friday of last week i ordered that an investigation criminal investigation um, be begun but more than a month after that promised, the best we can tell is that the Department of Justice has not contacted a single Tea Party group about the probe. A law firm representing 25 Tea Party groups in a lawsuit tells us that they have not heard from a single federal agency in this investigation. Today, FBI Director Mueller defended the pace of the investigation and said over a dozen agents have been assigned to the case. We asked the Department of Justice ourselves about the progress of the IRS investigation. Their response? No comment. They said the investigation is still ongoing. Jenny Beth Martin, co-founder of the Tea Party Patriots, uh, joins me now. Thank you so much for joining me. You say your group got the runaround when you applied for tax-exempt tax status. Have you heard from anybody from the Department of Justice or the FBI investigating uh, this matter? No, we have not. And in fact, we've talked to several hundred groups around the country in the past five or six days about this specifically, none of them have heard from it. Not a single one from around the country that we've talked to. All right, I want to play a transcript excerpt uh, or, or read a transcript excerpt that uh, Congressman uh, Elijah Cummings uh, re released. 
um, with a frontline IRS manager in the Cincinnati office. He's, he's been identified as John Schaefer by some committee aides. Schaefer describes uh, himself as a conservative Republican, and he testified that the scrutiny of the Tea Party group started out as normal business and then attempt to consolidate these groups that were applying. Asked if he thought it was motivated by desire to target the president's political enemies. He said, quote, I do not believe that the screening of these cases had anything to do other than consistency and identifying issues that need, needed to have further development. Asked if the White House was involved. He said, I have no reason to believe that. Does that satisfy you that uh, the White House was not involved and that this was as innocent as he makes it seem? For me, this isn't about just whether the White House has been involved or not. The IRS, the agents who work there took this agency and used it as a political weapon against citizens around this country. And they did it and they singled us out for our political beliefs. They were not doing it to progressive organizations. They did not do it to the Barack H. Obama Foundation. They haven't done it to Obama, uh, Obama, BarackObama.com. They are doing it to our groups, Tea well, Party were, groups. There were progressive and liberal groups that did have some of, I don't know if they were, they well, weren't grouped in with patriots in the same group. No, they weren't targeted. They, also they weren't had, targeted. Okay. They weren't discriminated. Barack H. Obama Foundation was approved in 30 days by Lois Lerner. Lois Lerner sent us a letter. We still don't have our final status from the IRS. They're stringing us along to this day since December of 2010. Let me ask you just the broader question. Some people say, uh, that even if I, uh, the, the IRS unfairly singled out your group, and it seems like there almost is consensus in Washington that, that conservative groups were unfairly and inappropriately well, targeted. Lois Lerner said that she did. Right. So, but let's talk about the broader issue of this tax-exempt status. Your organization seems to be a political organization. Why should political organizations, well, you, you, would, you would dispute that, um, I suppose, but, but why should any of these organizations that purport to not be political, purport to be education or be social welfare organizations, but seem to really be involved in political issues, whether it's environmental or Tea Party, why should any of them have tax-exempt status? Well, you know, if you want to change the tax code, we can talk about that. There's 73,000 pages in the tax code, but this isn't about changing the tax code. This is about the existing rules and regulations that exist inside those 73,000 pages. They were not applied equally and fairly. We were targeted because of our beliefs. They asked for the content of prayer from some groups. They asked for book reports from a 60-year-old lady. Book reports. My 10-year-old twins, they do book reports in schools. I don't expect that the government asking adults that. It's, it's unacceptable and it cannot continue. All right. Well, congratulations on the rally today. It seemed very well attended and, and good luck to you. Thanks for being here. Thank you.